Hi team, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to discuss about mainframe IPL process. Let's start with IPL process. So IPL stands for initial program load and it is a term commonly associated with mainframe computers. When you perform any IPL on a mainframe, you are essentially restarting or booting the system. IPL is act of loading a copy of operating system from disk into a processor's real storage and executing it. The address of the IPL volumes and IODF volumes are required for the IPL process. So now we are going to discuss about the overview of what an IPL requires or involves. So first one is the hardware initialization. The hardware initialization here the IPL process begin with the initialization of a hardware component such as CPU, memory and input output device. Next is the bootstrap loader. So the mainframe microcode execute a bootstrap loader program and this will bring up the mainframe operating system and this bootstrap loader is typically stored in the ROM. ROM is the read only memory. Next one is the load operating system. So the bootstrap loader load the initial control program which is often referred to as a SCP and IPC. SCP means system control program and IPC is a initial program control. Next is, step is the operating system initialization. Once the operating system loaded into a memory, it goes through the initialization process. After that, mainframe is ready for use. After this operating system has completed the initialization, the mainframe is ready for use. So we already understand the basics of the IPL and discussed overview of IPL. Now we are going to discuss in detail and step by step process of IPL. So first one is the POR complete. So POR is a power on reset mode. So POR is executed by operator by throw an icon of HMC. So HMC is a hardware management console. So we need to understand what is a console. So console is a software that running in one PC or more than one PC that connected to a LAN with a SE. So SE is a support element in a mainframe. So SE is a physically connected to the processor and uh, it's located in a CPC format. So next one is the LIC IOCDS. So at a POR, the hardware input output configuration definition is loaded from a IOCDS into a HSA. And uh, POR loaded the microcode. So LIC is a license internal code in all the processor. In uh, initialize the CP, uh, so this is initialize the CP and PS and also CSS. So CSS is a channel subsystem. So <clears throat> HSA is a non-software addressable piece of central storage and uh, HSA used as a microcode work area as well as LPAR. And uh, all after all the completion of POR process, uh, all the LPs defined and entire input output configuration defined. After that, next step is uh, activate the part l part or logical partition and uh, after that we need to ready the sysrec and uh, volume of iodf so now we are understand some other terminology like uh, nucleus load nucleus sys and palm leaf what is address space and all so let's start 
when uh, initialization a uh, ipl of a system the operating system pro operators provides two critical piece of information either directly from a ipl screen or indirectly from the load profile or hmc during a nucleus I, nucleus initialization process the nucleus and other system parameters is ready the master catalog provide to other data set and uh, use that catalog much uh, of the information so let's understand with the detailed diagram so ipl has divided into a three stage first one is initialize the hardware second one is the activate the lpar and third one is the initialize the software so initialize the hardware we already discussed pur process power on reset mode so at uh, initial program uh, load ipl is a uh, act of loading a copy of operating system from a disk into a cpu or uh, central process storage and execute it pur is uh, initialize the cpc storage and load you already know and uh, in a hardware input configuration uh, next one is activate the lpar so if we talk about activation of lpar so it's initialize each image that defined in a selected io cds and uh, assigned a cpc also central and uh, expand the storage and hpc id next step is initialize the software so initialization of software so we already know ipl is the operating system which determine the storage assignment and uh, it ignored 64 bit mode and uh, ipl initialize the software and operating system initialization completes so there is the iodf so iodf is a device and uh, is a device number of the volume contained the IODF data set or uh, default we call as the uh, SysRec. Okay. okay, next is the load XX. So, load XX, so here XX is a ID of the load XX member. Generally, we used or by default it's a uh, 00. zero. Next one is the master catalog. So master catalog contains the pointer to a system data set page and swap the data set and user catalog. And in master catalog is a backup of master catalog and is a multi-system environment. The master catalog can be shared. So uh, you already know like uh, syscat statement within the load xx member okay syscat statement within the load xx member identify the master catalog next is the nucleus program so nucleus program it's initialization of program that reside in a sys1 dot nucleus so and uh, it's received the control from the IPL program. So, what is a sys1 dot i sys1 dot palm lip? So, sys1 dot palm lip is a data set that contains that is a NIP user to trial the system to install the unique requirement. And uh, last one is the IASXX. So, it's member. Uh, has a central role by identifying the multiple configuration member within the parameter and uh, there are three types of ipl first one is the cold start second one is the quick start and third one is the warm start if we talk about cold start so any ipl that load or reload the pageable link pack area plpa is uh, reloaded and vio is cleared that means does not prevent the vio data set 
always the first IPL offer the system installation and is always a cold start. Second one is the quick start. Any IPL that does not reload the PLPA and also VIO data set, that means VIO is cleared. So there were no changes were made for LPA, but VIO needs to be refreshed in a quick start. And third one is the warm start. So in warm start, any IPL that does not reload the PLPA and preserve general VIO data set that called a warm start. So VIO is a method to using a memory to store a small temporary data set for rapid access. This slide we are understand the shutdown process of GOS. So there were two three types of process to shut down the GOS. First one is the stop all active jobs. Second one is stop OMVS. Third, we need to stop JS2 or JS3. And in last, remove the systems from Sysplex. That's all for today's. Thank you all to viewing this session. And if you have any doubts, so please mention in a comment box. And please like, share and subscribe this channel. Thank you again.